Mrs. Who'd even call her Mo. July 41, Mary begun living a life she would always make fun. Mother Betty and Cecil was her dad. Brother Tony, but someone else she had. Grandma so dear, lent her an ear, and held her merry near. Here in Portland, she met a boy at school. Kind of thuggy, but definitely cool. Tim was a hood, misunderstood. But Mary Matson knew his heart was good. They got married, though unexpectedly. <laughs> to be honest, was on account of me. But then those two flourished and grew because their love was true. They started a family. They wound up with three kids. Two sons and a daughter. Artsy. The middle was brainy. The baby could throw a ball. The light was the Air Force. The moving was rough, but she found enough adventure in her life. Miami and Merced. In Portland, Lompoc. North Highlands and Buzzards. Never was glamorous, but she couldn't care less. With friends and pets all the way. With dogs, cats, and horses. The donkey's no pet, but grass he did add while saving Mary Stride. No matter where she went, she lent some sunshine. And with flock, she was just right. Always was a swell Air Force wife. Moving's rough, it's tough enough when every hello means goodbye. But that Air Force guy was her life. Fatigues, they need ironing. <laughs> And hot dogs need fixing. Those kids were a handful. Oh, that Stevie ate poison. Then Annie stopped breathing. Well, Brian just threw a ball. <laughs> now she has grandkids. An easier few, delightful, and who bring gladness to her life. Gladness to her life. Gladness to her life.